Um, uh, really good skill. Uh, quarterback's been playing really well. Saw him a couple years ago. Uh, I think he was just a freshman then. And a lot, some other familiar faces, uh, particularly in, in the uh, at receiver uh, that a couple years ago, all just a bunch of young guys. So uh, um, they're doing a great job um, being very efficient. And uh, quarterback makes great decisions, gets the ball out quick. And uh, they do a terrific job getting the ball in their playmakers' hands. Just everything. I mean, they're tough to defend. They've got good skill and a quarterback that makes good decisions. And uh, O-line and a uh, run game that um, gives them the balance that every offense looks for. And, uh, you know, they, they can take the top off the defense, uh, stretch it vertically, and pound you in the run game. And uh, just do a very, very good job, very efficient with what they do. They lost their uh, starting running back early in the season, mm -hmm. but Homer Cuban did a great job, averaging three point yards to carry. But um, they were able to hold them to 45 yards rushing as a team. What do you think, other than just loading the box, were they able to have some success? Well, I thought they kept the ball away from them a little bit and uh, got up on them a couple of scores. So, uh, you know, that, that dictates, you know, what you do uh, game plan wise. And they loaded the box. They put everybody up there too, and uh, so uh, you know that's you know they weren't going to beat their head into the wall either. And um, uh, they were close on a bunch of throws, and uh, just one of those days, just a little bit off, you know, in the throwing game. But they had guys open, you know, just a little bit off in the uh, uh, throwing game. Greg, I was going to say it seems like your name is popping up on so many wish lists around the country for jobs. Is that anything that you, I don't know, consider at this time, at this time of year? I mean, my focus is completely, you know, on this game and this week and the great job that I do have and the great players that I, I get a coach every day. So, uh, you know, my focus is right here. How much of an effect do you think losing a, a great tight end like turning a, a Mackey Award semifinals could have on their own? Well, they've got other good players, but he's a, he's a terrific player, a uh, great player. Uh, but they've got good coaches and other really good players, and uh, you know when they're using receivers for for him, uh, they got big receivers they can put in there. They got other uh, very quality tight ends that they can use as well. So um, you know, but he's a he's a terrific player. And is that the best blocking group of wide receivers you think we've seen this season? Uh, that's uh, I think that's probably accurate. Are you surprised that they've gone from where they were a couple of years ago? How, how quickly they turned it around? Uh, they've done a great job. Uh, you know, they've got an excellent staff that's uh, seasoned and experienced and uh, having success. And uh, you get a quarterback that you know plays well, and the, the way the defense has been developed, uh, and have an identity on both sides of the ball. Um, uh, you know, not really. They're very young, just a few years ago, and they're growing up now. And and again, systematically are in. Uh, uh, you know, are in great schemes and um, well coached. Uh, a lot of discipline in their program. Brent, what is it about Barrios that's difficult to count? Uh, just he's very explosive, very strong. Uh, you know, he can stretch it vertically. He's got ter terrific underneath uh, quickness, and uh, really understands the game and how to find you know, uh, you know, the patches of grass that are out there that are available. Understands coverages and defense. Uh, well schooled and uh, just a great, great competitor uh, as well. He's a gamer. Very much so. He's his second leading rusher, uh, rusher and uh, he does a great job. Um, some of their design draws and things of that nature. So, uh, uh, you know, he knows when to, to pull it down. Just, he does a great job and he's, he's got excellent strength. Uh, combined with uh, really good speed to break through some trash uh, tackles and uh, m has made a big difference uh, in a number of games with his ability to run the ball, particularly Virginia Tech, Notre Dame, uh, some other games as well, but uh, those games in particular. Anecdotally, you seemed about as happy after the South Carolina game as really any I noticed you have. Is there a particular satisfaction in that victory or just in the way you played throughout the game that, that led to that 
It was a little bit of everything, you know, it's the end of the regular season. And, uh, you know, that's a, uh, there's not a game on our schedule that's more important than that one. Uh, the coach would say the next one is, but, uh, and I don't disagree with that, but that, it's, a, it's a huge game. And, uh, you know, you hear about it a lot throughout the course of the year. And uh, so to, to go and, and play well and win is a is work hard. Uh, so uh, it's, it's good to be able to enjoy is and enjoy more, one. Is it more flattering or annoying when you hear your name kind of ballot about amongst that coaching search tree situation? Well, because you all bring it up, it's annoying. I don't hear about it, you know, otherwise, you know, whatever's out there because I just don't spend any time focused on that. And, uh, you know, I've got a, uh, I got a great job. And, again, I, I've said that many, many times, and I'm very thankful and grateful for that. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're in a great position. So there's – why would I, you know, be worried about what's on the other side of the fence? And uh, it's, I've always felt that way. And uh, if people have interest, that's part of it. You either decide to listen or, or not. And uh, right now, you know, we've got a – uh, tremendous opportunity this week playing for a championship and um, and um, you know my loyalty is to here and our players. Coach, you won the World Award last year mm -hmm. and, and Coach uh, Elliot was just named a finalist yesterday. How neat is it for you to see him? Uh, super cool. I haven't been able to see him. Uh, we didn't have a, a staff today uh, with the offensive staff uh, present, but uh, I'm super pumped. Uh, what an honor it's going to be uh, to be there representing Clemson, but to be there in uh, recognizing, you know, a, a fellow colleague. It's super, super cool and uh, grateful to have that opportunity to see him experience it and uh, well-deserved uh, and overdue. Coach, when you mentioned that there were three candidates you would have considered for nomination for the Ross what's it like that you guys are all in the top of each other? Have you been a part of an atmosphere of coaching culture where you guys are able to share like this so much success? I mean, it's... Uh, it's it's humbling to have the kind of success that, that w we have on, on on both sides of the ball, and uh, you know it's the success comes from a collective effort, starting with our players, and then the coaches having the right kind of chemistry and understanding, and uh, uh, ultimately it comes down to the players. But Coach Sweeney does a, a great job uh, giving us this you know tremendous umbrella to uh, to you know nourish and foster our development and our growth uh, gives you autonomy that you need and once in a while he gets you back in your lane like you need as well and um, that just he fosters growth and um, and gives whether it's myself or it's Tony and Jeff former players here at Clemson the opportunity to uh, you know to to learn to grow and to uh, uh, you know to, to develop as opposed to you know the iron fist management uh, style. That couldn't be further from the truth. And then prior to that, even Coach uh, Morse, who came in and did an unbelievable job and uh, you know was recognized amongst the nation's best as well. But uh, so I think collectively all of it gives us all the opportunity to have you know uh, success. And uh, again, thankful to Coach Sweeney for providing that for us. Guys, I got I to gotta let him go. Coach Brunell started 10 minutes. 